So here's a great acoustic solo. All we're using is just the G major pentatonic. All right, and we're using two shapes of it, kind of splicing between the two. That is our E shape. And then also our G shape, which is gonna incorporate some open notes in there. All right, now here we go. It's really nice because there are basically four distinct phrases in this. So here's the first phrase. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm using my second finger and I'm sliding up from the second fret to the fourth fret. All right, now my first finger is going on the third fret on the second string. Now my third finger is going up to the fifth fret on the second string. My second finger is still on that fourth fret, so now on the third string, so I just go back to that. That is fifth fret on the second string, fourth fret on the third string, third fret on the second string. Now here I'm using my third finger or my pinky and I'm pulling off from the fourth fret on the third string to the second fret on the third string to open on the third string. Now I just hit the uh, fourth string, open, slide up to the second fret on the fifth string from the first fret hit the fourth string, open again. There we go. Now the next phrase is gonna be All right, this one's really neat. It's kind of almost like a chord thing. What we have is I'm, I'm barring my first finger on the bottom two strings, the first and second strings, on the third fret, and I'm sliding up to the fifth fret. Now I'm hitting, once I get to the fifth fret, I'm hitting that set of strings again, and I'm going back to the third fret. Now I'm almost making like a D shape right here, just like a D chord except I'm using my first finger on the third string, second fret, and my second finger on the third fret, second string. Now here I'm doing the same thing. I'm going up two frets with this shape. So I'm here on the second and third fret, going up to the fourth and fifth fret, all right? Sliding up again, sliding back down, hitting the third string open twice. So now here's the third phrase. Here it starts off just like the first one. We're sliding from the second fret to the fourth fret on the third string. Going to my first finger on the third fret on the second string. Now here I'm, I'm hanging on this fifth fret on the second string. One more time. Now here I'm bending up on the th on the second string and pulling off to my third fret on the second string. Going back to the fifth fret, going to my first finger on the A note, which is on the third string, second fret. So we have so far that third phrase, bending up, Now to end it, I'm bending on my third string. Here, it's almost kind of like a, what I call a curl, which is just, we're not really aiming for a note, we're just having the, the note slightly bend up a little bit. So I'm bending down. All right, um, that's on the fourth fret on the third string. Now my first finger is going up to the third fret on the second string, to the fifth fret on the second string. Bend again on the fourth fret on the third string. And right there on that second fret on the third string. All together. And then finally had the fourth phrase. Okay, this one starts off just like the first and third lick, which phrase, which is slide up from the second to the fourth fret on the third string. Same thing, first fret, 
or third fret on the second string to the fourth fret on the third string to the fifth fret on the second string. Bend up on the second string and on the second fret on the third string, bend up on the third string on the fourth fret. There we go. Then in the intro, I did something like there was just a pull off from the fourth fret on the third string, second fret on the third string, open. 